We did unfortunately get that bearish flip on the daily parabolic star. That's your sell signal, my friends. But am I selling? Are you kidding me? I'm adding, guys. You already know the tentacles are great. Tentacles are great. We love the tentacles. Tentacles are very indicative of what's going to happen. But what's more indicative than the tentacles? The fundamentals, bro. Come on. Come on. You guys already know this. You guys already know the tentacles are great. But long term, this is a steal. A lot of people have been talking about a big cup, big ass cup and handle here. This is the first half of the handle. This is the second, you know, handle. Price starts like 25 bucks. That could definitely happen. I don't know when. I don't know when we're gonna moon, but I know based on the fundamentals and what I've been seeing and the 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 uh, the, the full due diligence here, there's just no, there's nothing to tell me otherwise that we're not. There's nothing pointing to to a bear case long term. You know, of course it's a bear case, but there's nothing telling me to be bearish long term. And this is why I'm loading. It's as such a it's as it's at a steal right now in my opinion. I have a buy limit set for 546. We're gonna get into why I did not add any shares during the day. I would have if I was actually trading. We're gonna get into that. Um, so for the star, we are we are bull, we are bearish. For the super trend on the daily, we are we are bullish. Uh, still, we have four four seventy six. Now, probably what everyone wants to know is short term where are we going? I said this yesterday. I believe I said this basically the same. I basically said the same thing yesterday as today because literally it's the same situation. The Nasdaq is still exactly where it was yesterday, basically, uh, essentially. And BioNano is undervalued. Now we did break. We did get a daily close below this uh, descending level of support here. Which technically will act as a bit of resistance, but I'm not. That doesn't scare me. That doesn't scare me for a couple of reasons. Number one, the institutional ownership is going to keep the price above five dollars and fifty cents. Basically, they're going to try their best to at least. Uh, we also have the super trend at four four seventy six. So if we dip below that, we are obviously going to have that. Now that's not that biggest. That's that's not a big reason. Another big reason though, the two hundred day exponential moving average. This one's actually important. Five dollars and eleven cents. So as we get closer to that. That's going to be acting as some crucial levels, a uh, crucial level of support. Obviously, last time we got that, that kiss, we went up uh, what 30, 40 percent in a couple of days. So I'm not saying that's about to happen again, but it's certainly a possibility. Um, also, looking at the MACD, we're still, we are technically still in bullish territory. Actually, we're about to get that bearish flip, but we will see what happens there with the RSI. We're getting more oversold. Okay, yada yada. There's nothing really that interesting here. Um, but taking a look at the Bollinger Bands for the for the for the uh for the daily here that is sitting at around 496 so basically if we did break below the institutions uh most of their uh, cost bases which is going to be 550s to 570s 512 to 5 dollars dude i am loading the bo i am literally going to be using most all i'm going to sell everything else and just go all in a bio nano and be that one person that has 100% of their portfolio in one stock no diversification and Warren Buffett actually says, if you, I don't know if many of you know this, but he does not like diversification. He thinks diversification is actually for idiots. He's actually said that before, or at least something similar to it. I might be paraphrasing there. But nonetheless, I'm diversified, right? I'm great. But here's the thing, guys. BioNano has the best outlook long-term out of any stock there is in the, in the world, in my opinion. Um, so it, as we keep getting just more more killed it's just gonna be it's just more auspicious for me to buy you know i a part of me selfishly really wants to see five dollars just so i can be that one person that literally has all of his money in one stock you know how cool would that be um <laughs> i'm not doing it just for the glory though just to be that one guy that says yeah i totally believe what i'm saying 100 percent of my portfolio that's part of it sure but more so the more the bigger reason is that the lower we go the more undervalued we are obviously okay it's just fundamental math right and the, the fundamental value, you guys already know the fundamental value of the company is far above 1569. Even today, I believe that currently the NASDAQ was valued similarly to what it was. The value the, the value of the NASDAQ is similarly uh, at a level that's similar, that's very similar to what it was at, uh, at when, when BioNano was at 1569. So if you didn't understand that, uh, let's take a look at the NASDAQ here and actually talk about the short-term implications. But number, Now, my point that I was just trying to make, not very well, but we basically, the NASDAQ is really relatively very close to all-time highs. And a lot of people are blaming BioNano's fall partly on the NASDAQ, including myself, right? But the fact is, most of it actually was not caught, is not really caused by the NASDAQ. It's more the high growth uh, hell that's been going on, right? But this was a double top. and But relatively, if we just zoom out a little bit, we are still doing amazing. We are still in a long-term, very aggressive bull market. And uh, yes, technically, we can go down all the way down to 13K, but I don't think so. I'm actually more bullish on BioNano short term uh, because we are literally below the Bollinger Band on the NASDAQ. We got two daily closes below the, the bottom Bollinger Band, and that has not happened 
literally in like a year since uh, since February 28th of, of, of last year of 2020 man are you kidding me you guys know when I said yesterday that uh, the Nasdaq was very like very unlikely it's it's very likely that we got bullish price action today for the Nasdaq literally I said there was a small chance that we didn't that small chance came to fruition absolutely insane we are we've got two days of closing below the the middle the the bottom bullish band which never happens man which it's just abs it's absolutely it's almost unheard of you know I mean we have to go back almost a year to find it last time this happened we got a huge short term bounce and then the crash right obviously that doesn't really apply because this was a headwind not the price action but nonetheless this is a good example because short term it's a bounce right almost all the way up to that twenty one day SMA or at least pretty close. I think that is exactly what we're likely to see here, but not the second part. I think we're likely to see a short-term bounce. What happens after that is going to be totally uh, determined by things other than uh, this little indication that we have right here. So short-term, I'm bullish on the NASDAQ, uh, and it's another reason why I'm so bullish on loading up loading up for BioNano uh, right now. Right, that's why I have a buy limit, and if, if it's like 7 o'clock, you're probably seeing this after 7 o'clock maybe, but I will maybe be adding shares in the after hours, and uh, tomorrow I would like to add another leap contract. Uh, if we if the call option, if we got uh, if we got more red tomorrow, I will definitely be doing that, my friends. But also taking a look at the Twitter here. The doc, this doctor here describes his progress. Okay, developing uh, laboratory developed tests, tumors, blah blah. If we take a look at the study here, what's important here? So they were detecting structural variations and um, and clinically clinically actionable events. Okay. Uh, and many more, many more, keyword, many more, right? There's more stuff. It's not just variants. It's not just structural variations that Sapphire can detect. It's, uh, it's many more clinically actionable events and other stuff as well, right? Um, but the doctor, this is what's important. In addition to the higher performance, Sapphire has reduced hands-on time, faster turnaround time, and cost effect and is cost effective compared to this current combination of methods which is based which is basically uh the something i don't even know what this is or means but the s uh, the s p array platform combined with the five locus specific blah blah yada yada uh s p is uh as a uh, single nucleotide um polymorphisms i believe i don't really understand some of the stuff that goes over my head guys i'm not a doctor remember that please but anyways it doesn't take a genius it's not take a genius my friends to figure out the sapphire is more efficient bro it's more efficient and it's got markets that are not even priced into the to the current price action i'll put a card at some point for the due diligence proving on what i mean right all of the different more genetic labs cytogenetics uh, non-invasive prenatal screening postnatal screening autism okay blah, blah blah yada yada neurodegenerative diseases alzheimer's blah, 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 i'm gonna have a seizure my brain cells are gonna explode brandon stop talking so damn fast i'm sorry uh I can't help with sometimes boys. All right, but anyways, this is good news, uh, nonetheless, boys. This is good news. Institutions, we've already talked about this today. Uh, today, the fifth file day, two more filings. Uh, seven hundred, eight hundred shares added. Okay, that's literally laughable. That's like me adding. Uh, these institutions have millions of dollars. Thirteen FSEC filings. Remember, the transaction date is not the file date. The file date is not indicative of the transaction date. Remember. Uh, but nonetheless, this is bullish because, you know, who knows, the institution is getting their position, you know, nibbling, uh, getting their position, starting, establishing that position, averaging up, averaging down after this, you know, hundreds of thousands of shares like these guys, you know, who knows, who knows what's going to happen with that. Uh, take a look at the earnings. We will be live streaming this. I just want to let, give everyone a heads up. We will be live streaming the earnings, which is a, apparently it's going to be June 17th. We'll see if that changes. Likely they change. Uh, and I think this is just the estimated earnings based on last year, quarter one, 2020. So we'll, we'll see what that actually is going to be. Anyways. Um, the the bull and BNGO fully D. If you have not watched this yet, this is what you want to watch. If you want to know why I'm so bullish on buying it long term, uh, this is what you want to do. It's a two hour video. I nearly killed myself making that, so please go enjoy that or read it. I have the Google Doc form for you to read as well. Uh, so it is so it is very sweet for you there. Current positions and price stars. There you go. There's the current. There's the price stars. There's the current positions. There you go. Account. Boom. 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 All right, man. There you go. There you go. Um, all right, let's check out. Let's check out this relevant information regards how this finished now. What do we do now? Live streams. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what you do. This is what you do, my friends. Go to any live stream, right? Go to the channel, and then just go down here a little bit. Upcoming live streams, live trading, BNGO price action, Wall Street bets, and buying in and just teaming up. Uh, yeah, man. So, so go set your reminders so that we have a great time on the live streams. At least I do. <laughs> uh, so so yeah, buying in a full DD video bits. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna reshoot some of the. 
some of these to make it in smaller bits to you know get a little bit more traffic for the buy and full due diligence because this this work right here i think deserves to get more recognition than it already has reddit go join a reddit group if you want merch if you want merch this is what you do just go to any video right just go to today's video any video right it can be anything you want my friends Go to the show more for the description, auspicious website, merch, we will free stocks, Patreon link, our subreddit, Discord, everything you need, right? And if we click on the merch here, auspicious store, oh my gosh, look at all these sick products. Auspicious descent, dude, this man is a genius. I know, bro, I know. <laughs> I'm messing around, I'm messing around. I'm not actually, I'm not actually like Tony Stark cockiness, right? Uh, I love Tony Stark though. Well, kind of, kind of hate him and love him at the same time. Anyways, uh, yeah, so these are the merch. This is the merch action right here. This is, this is the, here, I'll go ahead and give it, go ahead and give you a, uh, a, a close up on the merch here. Uh, auspicious descent, sweet design. I know I'm a graphic designer essentially. I know, I know I do it all, man. I wear all hats, man. Entrepreneur, investor, right? Everything. We got everything going, my friends. Go get your merch right now. Go do it. Go do it now. Anyways, not really. Do, also, if you want to know, where, where, the, where are the profits that I make from this? Where are the profits going, right? Do stuff like this, right? The mic, the, the we need a camera. We need a monitor that literally has more than half the screen visible because the current one does not. That was the second one, right? My laptop that I'm on right now is decent. It's good, I guess, but the other one is literally retarded, and I can't do streams without looking like a newbie. Uh, so, you know, a lot, also productivity, YouTube, right, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. That's where the profits are going. Also, 1,000 donations to some sort of charity. I'll prove that on the channel. But anyways, thank you all so much, man. It's not financial advice. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all in the next one.